Okay, time for episode 24 of Video Game Reviews. And for this episode, we are going to review Rad Racer for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This game came out all the way back in 1987. The uh, beginning of October of 87, so two and a half months after I was born. Uh, in Rad Racer for the NES, uh, what you have to do is you have to go through a course, and you have to make it to the checkpoints before the timer runs out. Now you start off with, what is it, 45 seconds on the clock or 50 seconds? So you start with that, and then once you reach a check, once you pass through a checkpoint, you get time added on. Now if you hit a road sign or a tree at any speed, then you crash. And hitting another car right from behind is going to slow you down. And that is not good. And then if another car sideswipes you, then you're going to be pushed to the side. And then at the higher levels, you can actually crash by hitting another car. Now, some people like crashes, but I don't. Now, obviously, crashes take time off the clock and make it harder for you to reach the checkpoint. Now, there are eight level courses in this game, each one, one increasing in difficulty. Now, once your timer reaches zero, the vehicle can still coast for a little bit. And if you manage to reach the checkpoint, though, before the car runs out of steam, then you can continue on. But, if your timer runs out before, the, uh, before you reach a checkpoint or you uh, reach the goal line, then it's game over. Now, there is a cool feature about this game. You can actually activate a 3D mode in this game by pressing the select button on the controller and wearing 3D glasses. So uh, that's pretty neat. And I actually didn't know about that. Although, then again, I don't have 3D glasses. Now, this game, when it was released, came packaged with 3D glasses, which gives you the illusion of three dimensions. You can pick one of two cars in this game, a Ferrari 328 or an F1 racing machine. Now, both cars have a maximum speed of 255 kilometers per hour. And you can activate the turbo by pressing the up button on the uh, pad to boost the car's speed. And you can also disengage the turbo at any time by releasing the button. Now, now, they actually made a sequel to this game, but this sequel was exclusive to North America. Which means that, unlike, uh, which means you could only get this particular sequel in the United States or Canada. And that being Rad Racer 2. However, that version apparently doesn't have too much differences from the first one. And therefore wasn't as successful as the original game. Now I do not have Rad Racer 2. Although I would I do not have Rad Racer 2. Mm -hmm. And but after when, but, uh, yeah. I mean, I would like to try Rad Racer 2, the, the second one. And I have played this, the first one here that you're looking at right now. I have played that on my channel before, and it's pretty fun. I would highly recommend uh, this game if you're a fan of racing. Racing games now, like, I like racing games. I have not beaten this game yet, but I do intend on beating it, and uh, and that will conclude this episode of Video Game Reviews. I will see you for episode 25.